Hello everyone. Um, this presentation talks about the negative aspects of digital divide. Uh, but before we dig deep into the topic, let's uh, talk about three specific examples which will uh, help us better understand the cons related to this topic. Imagine a situation where a single mother recently got fired due to a factory shutdown. Now she cannot afford a job as she does not know what MS Word or Excel is. Rather, she never operated a computer in her life. This shows that digital divide is negatively affecting the job structure and increasing unemployment rate. Another example, a grandfather in rural India unable to talk to or see his only grandchild in UK as there is no internet or access to computer or phone in his village. Many people have failed to take advantage of advanced communication system due to lack of access to digital world causing communication gap. A small business owner running low on a profit as he is unaware of how to take his business online and attract more customers. This is our third example. So we also see that um, digital divide has even modified the marketing strategy of business owners. So business owner who cannot keep up are de definitely not gaining any profit from it. Let us quickly reevaluate what digital divide really is. Basically, digital divide breaks the world population into two broad categories. People who have exposure to digital world and are knowledgeable to use it efficiently to their benefit and another group of people who has who has no access to the digital world are and are completely unequipped to use it. So what do you think can be the possible causes? What I found out there are three main causes. People financially cannot afford to invest in information technology. Second one, people never received any training to use the digital world to their benefit causing lack of knowledge. And the third one is um, people are just basically reluctant. They fail to understand the benefits and hence never invest their interest in learning it. If you study the world population, about 70% population, they are digitally illiterate and 30% have access and capable of using it. So we see a broad division. So how, how is this division affecting us? Is it affecting positively or negatively? As obvious, uh, negative aspects that world is currently facing as a result of digital divide can be categorized into four broad divisions. With socioeconomic division already present in today's society, the digital divide is increasing the effects. These effects can be summarized as mentioned into five broad categories. First one is education. How students who have no access to the digital world are lacking in receiving proper training and quality education and eventually a proper well-paid job, which makes which uh, gives a second point income structure. Secondly, digital divide is increasing a wide gap in the income structure as well. Third one is in consequence our world economics and finance. Digital divide is also increasing the socio-economic disparities. Information technology has improved the world of communication immensely. Hence, lack of exposure to digital divide deprives individual from utilizing it to their benefit. Hence, all the above bullets automatically increases socioeconomic disparities. Digital divide is enhancing racial and age gap differences in society. Uh, then let's study the impact. First, let's study the impact on education. In recent years, information technology has been successfully used as a tool for education. Technology has been integrated into the classroom and lecture curriculum. 
internet and the world of information technology has become a progressive and beneficial tool for education. Access to the new technology has become every child's democratic right. And let's again uh, compare the situation with a realistic example. Let's think about three high school students. Each one of them is assigned to write a paper on World War II. So a student in a high school in Tampa browsing an academic database using a very high speed internet. Then a student in Delhi using a cyber cafe in a public computer as his family cannot afford to buy a computer for him. Then a student in India who has no computer, I mean Indonesia, let's consider another student in Indonesia who has no computer or phone line but whose father working in an NGO download in all information related to World War II for her. So what do you think will differ in these three cases? Quality and abundance. Information quality and abundance will broadly differ in each case. Also, technology is used as a tool for education. Hence, a student without access to computer or internet is deprived from using this beneficial learning tool. And the third point is related to a job. Every job nowadays requires uh, knowledge about information technology. Due to this digital device, students also fail to train themselves in learning and adopting appropriate skills to use latest technology usefully. Now, impact of digital divide in the income structure, which is very closely tied to education. People who grew up with no access to digital world lack the skill set that a 21st century modern job requires. Lack of exposure to digital world means confinement to low paying manual jobs. Also, level of education largely varies the pay scale of two individuals. Two individuals have same degree, same high school diploma, same they are college graduates, but uh, one has higher knowledge and capability in using information technology. Person with higher IT background definitely gets a higher pay package in their job. Nowadays, most jobs applications are online, hence a person in rural areas who have limited to computer and internet suffer or not been able to apply for these quality jobs. As a consequence of digital divide information technology, no wonder intimidate job seekers who lack the knowledge of this field. As mentioned in this slide, recent uh, studies show that even among workers with a high school education, those who use the internet at work on average make more money a week than the person who does not. Now, how is our society affected in correlation to income gap due to digital divide? As mentioned earlier, that knowledge about the digital world has become prerequisite for the most desired jobs. Even for the basic not so desired jobs, it's a prerequisite nowadays. In a society where the distribution of wealth is already heavily unbalanced, access to computers is creating this unbalanced situation even more. And how do you think this is happening? Well. The rich with their better jobs can afford internet access and advanced technology. However, the poor members of society are unable to afford internet access payments and IT equipment. In a sense, what's happening is rich getting richer, poor becoming poorer. Richer with better jobs and advantage to access to internet and information technology, getting the rewards of e-commerce and e-business while the poor members of the society aren't able to keep up. Now let's study how does digital divide 
negatively impact world economy and finance. Technology is vastly used in healthcare, banking, manufacturing, retail, transportation, defense, and other se sectors majorly impacting world economy. So there is not a single area where um, information technology is not used. At present, uh, the digital divide, we can say, mirrors the technology gap, separating the rich countries from the poor ones. As you can see in this world map, access to computer per 100 people is much less in developing countries, like, for example, the countries in the continent of Africa. No developing countries will benefit from digital divide, rather will continue to face economic and financial issues and will fail to compete in world politics. To reiterate the fact that um, rich getting richer and poor getting more poorer, uh, the more wealthy a person is, more likely they have luxuries like phones, computers and internet. A poor person has access to these items through public spaces like a library or a college or college campus or schools. But there is an inconvenience for that person because they will need to have a car or a ride to a public computer. In expenses, these expenses can become overwhelming for any average person, especially for an unemployed person. And we can very well imagine that in developing countries, the number of such average people is much higher than a developed country. For an undeveloped country, basic amenities like hot water and electricity is much more efficient much more essential than access to information technology. Now let's talk about the socioeconomic disparities. So the socioeconomic disparity definitely is widened by digital divide. As pointed by well William Kennard that in a society where increasingly we are defined by access to information and what we earn is what we learn. If you don't have access to technology, you're going to be left in the digital dark ages. This is what the digital divide is all about. Not only from the income structure and uh, financial point of view, we can also see digital divide increases a gap between old and young generation of the society. Older people who are usually reluctant to learn about new technology are not well versed in it. Hence, they get deprived from all the benefits that digital world brings, like access to information from anywhere, anytime, and also fail to understand the ease in communication nowadays. Hence, you can see, uh, as the fact mentioned in the slide, that 34% uh, of 34.5 million Americans over age 65 use the internet compared to 89% of 18 to 20 year, 28 year olds and 86% of 29 to 40 year olds. So continuing on the same topic, uh, during uh, my research on digital divide, I found out that um, former President Bill Clinton mentioned a very uh, amazing quote about this digital divide. He mentioned, rectifying digital divide is the greatest opportunity the US has ever had to lift its people out of poverty and ignorance. Hence, we can easily say that internet is the right of a common man. The, it's a basic necessity of a 21st century. People who are victim of digital divide will remain less informed less responsible, less inspired, increasing the socio-economic disparity. Also, we see that as a consequence of digital divide, we have e-commerce, 
which makes shopping much, much easier. And then we have a, a big change in communication with emails, video chats. The world has become a much, much smaller place. Even the marketing strategy of many company are also changed by introduction of technology. Small business owner who lack digital knowledge fail to compete. So as we see, um, the capability to use, receive, download and share information through electronic networks and the freedom to communicate freely across national boundaries must become a reality for each and every individual of this world. All resources should be engaged to eliminate digital divide from the society and enforce digital literacy as a right to every individual. So this concludes uh, this uh, presentation. So the next slide is basically all the references summarized together. Please let me know you have further questions on this topic. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.